Pelton remained in Sweden for round 18 of the UCI Women's World Tour. After a wet team time trial, the sun was back for the road race in Valgada. The small Scandinavian town had always had a reputation of good atmosphere, but with fierce racing. Teams signed in and lined up for their 141 km race, amongst them the new European champion. If I have a good feel, feeling, uh, it's possible uh, a good prestation. Uh, but uh, I don't know, I see and uh, today I think it's uh, for my new shirt. There is much breakaway and the, the, final, the final sprint is uh, not much uh, possible. Uh, but uh, I think it's possible a good uh, breakaway for me and the final uh, in, the, in the sprint. If nothing, if everything has come back after the last gravel section, I think the last four laps, something will definitely go there. And, and there's a lot of teams actually that can play two cards with the sprint and uh, with having one of them in the break. So and we're the only ones that can sort of play. We, we have a sort of a sprinter, but not a pure sprinter that we can back for that and for a really good top 10 result. But to actually win it is a little bit different. And I think it's to be uh, yeah aggressive, assertive. And it's a race of attrition though. So you have to be really careful with this race. Um, I've done it a few years in a row and well, actually since maybe 2009 <laughs> with my first year with the national team. Yeah, so it's really a race of attrition too. So two years ago when I was second it was a breakaway and last year it was a reduced bunch sprint. So I think the cards are really open open here today. So we will see how the other teams are playing. Because yeah, last year I think we had a perfect team, team job. So we have to try to repeat that again. I, I think there is going to be lots of attacks today. So I think you also need a little bit luck to be in that right right breakaway today right from the gun the peloton rode very fast even on the first four small 11 kilometer laps some riders were dropped immediately some riders attacked but nobody could get away at the end of the first gravel section the peloton was still together but garcia of team movistar found the right moment to make a jump on the second gravel section, she was joined by Anna van der Breggen, Cecily Udre Ludwig, and Mariana Voss. But the group was too dangerous to let go and was reeled back in by the chasing bunch. With 65 kilometres to go, Mariana Voss got accidentally pushed off the road and her bike decided to go down into a ditch with Voss following. No major damage, and the experienced former world champion quickly got back on her bike and jumped into the back of the bunch. Bowles Dolmans tried to make the race really hard the whole day, and especially Anna van der Breggen did most of the attacks. In the penultimate lap, she made another jump. Her teammates did a great job stopping the peloton. However, the peloton managed to get the Dutch woman back. So it went down to a reduced bunch sprint. Voss threw herself into the last corner and managed to exit first, and pushed through all the way to the finish line. She had two second lead over Kirsten Wield and Lotta Lepisto. Um, yeah, you have a you have to have a right, good position. And when I saw uh, Kirsten Wild coming from the right side, I thought, yeah, if if uh, if she goes as first, then it's going to be really going to be really hard to go through the corner in the, in a, yeah in a good way. Um, so then I sprinted as fast as I could to go through as first, and, uh, and then it's 300 meters to go. Uh, when I came out, I saw I had a little gap, and I decided just to f go full through the line. Yeah, Marianne is experienced in corners like this, and I don't like them so much. And I think I did well, and together with the team, we, we managed to stay in a good position, enter the corner, but yeah, it's just a hard one. And I'm don't like it too much taking the risk and I think as a team we stayed calm and we gambled a bit on the other teams and um, yeah I think it was okay and yeah yeah I know I can do races like this but it's always hard with this such a corner technical final and yeah I'm happy with it. I guess I was a little bit too late in the last K so um, but and Mariana had a perfect um, last corner <laughs> so she just could go away and yeah i was just trying to hold hold it and it was the hardest 400 uh 300 meters for a while <laughs> i think uh, ashley and sile were having also a really amazing day today so i knew that they might bridge or or bring it back and i brought it back so i think it was pretty 
pretty solid team teamwork today. Cicchini had the ungrateful honour to finish fourth behind Voss, Wield and Lepisto. Young Italian rider Letizia Paternoster did a great job finishing ninth. The top three of the UCI Women's World Tour classification remains unchanged. Anna van der Breggen still leads before Anna Meek van Floyten and Amanda Spratt. With her second place in Vargada, Kristen Wield enters the top ten. Sofia Bertazzolo extends her lead with two points in the UCI Women's World Tour Youth Rider classification. Teammate and compatriot Paternoster gets a bit closer with Balsamo remaining third.